Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Felix Arts. Um, I'm showing you how I use the hard airbrush to shade the lips. So um, this is lips tutorial using Autodesk Sketchbook. As you can see right here, I had to uninstall my reset app because um, I'm using 8.1.0. I think so when I changed my phone then I had to install that same version then it didn't work like um, it was saying the version was made for an older phone so I have to switch things up like how to look for other version so I ended up with the 5.1.9 layer right here that's where I'm going to be doing the shadings so make sure that your reference is right here like you um, just need to set it above the place that you want to shade so that you can um, be seeing the reference while using the the tools i'm going to be showing you okay now I'll go back to my hard airbrush then then you go to your color palette like where you have saved your color I'm using the e23 okay this one right here this one right here so I'll just go back to this side then drag you drag the luminance down to let's say is it 10 so uh, this this one right here is the darker color so I'm just going to set drag this one right here okay I'll take the luminance back again to 20 then go back to the color wheel then you click this one right here then you drag it so um these two right here this is what i've been using for the past years before you start shading make sure you you create a new layer right here okay you just create a new layer right here then i'm going to zoom in then use the hard airbrush watch this video from starting to the end i'm going to be using the white color just to point out the place that you need to you will need to um, focus on okay so this right here you see this part right here you see this part right here okay you have to use your smudge your hard airbrush okay this layer right here use your hard airbrush then you then you go back to this color okay you just go back to this color right here now start do something like this At this point, once you are done with with this part right here, okay. Once you are done with this part, I can use the hard eraser to erase this one right here. You know what to do next. You just use your smudge brush to blend. But before blending, I just need to complete the shadings, okay, like those um, light and dark parts that I need to add. What I'll just do here, I'm going to use a hard airbrush. Then go back to this layer right here. Then go back to your dark color. So like you can also add something here like this. As, as you're seeing this part right here, this 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 side, okay, this side of the lips, that is the uh, the upper lips. This side right here, you just do something like this. Okay, you can see it. Then I'll go right here, then do the same thing. So I'm just following the rhythm on the reference. I'm just following the way it is on the reference. Once you're done with that part, then you can use your smudge bristle brush. Okay, you just go to your smudge, you just go to your tools right here, then go to your to your library then you look for the smudge round bristle brush so before you start smudging i'll show you my settings so this is it right here um you can check my shorts video upload i will show you the whole details that you need to know okay because 
this right here like i didn't um set anything on my smudge brush many people complain that um when you're using the smudge brush blend that um, um that their works looks very rough we use the smudge brush take the flow down to to four percent then start to blend to use the hard airbrush okay then you so make sure that you're using the dark color okay um after after using the um smudge the smudge brush to blend then i'm going to add something like this okay so like you just need to copy what you have seen on the reference any lines that you've seen there you just add it but don't make it so obvious like don't um over don't overdo it the way you have seen it those do exactly what you are seeing then from time to time you will get it because i also faced um, those issues back back then now I will, then now I'm, I'm going to use the smudge brush to blend Now you can increase the size, like you can use the uh, hard, the flow airbrush, then increase the size like this, okay? Then you shade here, right here, okay? Now once you're done with that part, then I'm going to use the the hard airbrush, um, the hard eraser to erase some part because I'm going to be using the smudge brush to blend also. So you can see the way I erase this part right here, okay? Because there are some little highlights at this part, like um, at uh, this lip side right here. So I use the the hard eraser to erase those parts. Then I'll use the smudge brush to blend. So um, since I'm blending it i forgot to reduce the flow back to to um to three percent because uh, that will make the that will make the um that because that will make the shading looks uh, look very smooth so i forgot to do that